So to mod Borderlands 3, we're going to want to get two different programs. You're going to want to get Quick BMS, which runs on Python 2.7.17, and get UModel. Links will be down in the description for these. Um, Quick BMS is going to need three different scripts. I'm going to put those down there too. Um, these scripts are going to help us extract the files out of the game as well as UModel. So what we're going to do, we're going to extract the files twice, once with Quick BMS and once with UModel, and we're going to merge them together because Quick BMS leaves behind a couple of files and then new model leaves behind a couple of files and i found that if you take you know both extractions and merge them together it kind of fills the gaps from one to another so first thing we're going to do uh get quick bms you're going to want to let me see here Get quick BMS and put it in with your pack files. If you don't know where your pack files are, it's going to be where your game is. Go into Oak Game, go into Content, you'll see these packs. It's all these right here. Um, I copied all of these out so I can mess with them. You don't have to. It's gigabytes of files. Uh, it could just be, you know, a waste of time. So with quick BMS, you're going to put the three scripts along with the quick BMS files themselves. Uh, use the 4 gigabyte file, open that up. It's going to ask you for your script that you want to use. Just navigate back to that. So what we're going to do here, uh, we have three different scripts because we need to extract different files with different scripts, which I have marked down right here. The Unreal Tournament 4 script is going to be used on pack chunk 1 underscore 0. That's the only one that that needs. The 4.23.1 alpha. This alpha script is used for all of these files right here. Uh, 14, 18, 20, 22. You can see them all right here. Um, not sure why. It's just the way it extracts. And then the <clears throat> 4.23.1 is used for all other files except for 850, 860, 870, 880, 890, 890, and 910. So we don't need these files anyway because they are different localizations and we don't need the audio files for texture modding. And it'll actually run without them because it doesn't check them. So let's just do an example here. I'll just show this one with Unreal Tournament 4. Uh, it's going to ask, select an input archive for the whole, blah, blah, blah. We're going to get that pack chunk 1, 0, pack chunk 1, 0. And then it tells you up here, where do you want to extract to? I'll just show you on the desktop. Should be super quick. It's a small file. Now, um, I went ahead and put the key in for uh, all three scripts. Uh, all of those pack files are locked behind a key. Somebody was willing to go in and find the key. It's this 0x115ee. Da -da 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 -da. Um, all you have to do is hit 0 on the keyboard and hit enter. And it'll extract. Now you can do multiple files at once uh, when you go to extract here. And you have to put that in every single time that you come up to a file. So, say you're doing the alpha script here and you're doing all of these files. All of these will work with that alpha script, but you have to hit zero and enter for that one, wait for it to, ex to extract. Depending on how big it is, it could take, you know, up to an hour. Uh, then you have to be there to hit zero and enter again to extract this one. Hit zero and enter again, 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 again. This part's a pain in the ass and very time consuming. Um, that's got to be done for all of these. So once those are done, we're going to use UModel to extract everything else. Um, 
um, and just show you what that looks like once everything is extracted out of there. Let me get use this here. Go through modding packs out. Do not touch. It's going to be messy because these are going to need to be in other files, say like top top level file is like player characters and this has its own underscore customization underscore shared but as you can see there's an underscore customization and underscore shared and these could be to any one of these other folders so that's why quick vms it extracts a lot of files but they're not all in the proper places that's why we use u model to fill all of those you know gaps but quick bms gets a lot of things that u model doesn't such as like the config files or the engine files so we need at the u project it the game doesn't even launch without the u project file we'll get into all that in just a moment so we're going to use U model right now, which I have set up my game stream. I set it up alongside here. So go to your pack files, make a new file called U model, and you could drop it right in here. Once you copied that into there, we can launch U model. Uh, this top is just saying where the pack files are. You could just kill that U model. Now, this has to be the latest version of U model because he's gone ahead and put in, instead of using 4.23, which is what the game is actually built on, um, there's certain little specifications. Uh, go down to this Borderlands 3 and use that. Select everything. Auto is fine. Hit OK. Now it's going to ask us for that key again. I'm going to give a link to the uh, guildor.org forums and the key is on the very first page. So we're just gonna copy and paste that right in. It's that same key from quick BMS scripts, that 0x115ee, da 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 da. So it's just going to read all of these files, make sure everything's good to go. And you'll notice that our top level files are engine, game, and plugins. Now, what we're going to do here is go to flat view, which is going to allow us to click in here just once, hit control A to select all. It's going to take just a moment. There's 110,000 asset files in here. Just let this load shouldn't take too long 20 seconds or so there you go now once everything is selected we are not going to export exporting is completely different we don't want to do that right now that's going to come along when we actually mod the files what we want to do right now is just get these files themselves these u asset files so the engine itself can read them we're going to go here tools click that little arrow go to save selected packages very important step right here keep directory structure otherwise these are all going to be loose files and it will not work it'll be a massive mess keep directory structure and then you just put them in a uh, save location i have i did this last night again just to make sure uh export of packages i'll show that now this takes little over an hour or so depending on how quick your computer is so we have export of packages here and here's your top level folders your engine your game your plugins now comes the fun part 